Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share how I am setting up my financial stuff in my business planner. This is for 2019, so I won't be using this anytime soon, but I wanted to show you just how I'm setting it up. So let's talk about the things that I may or may not use. I just kind of pulled some things out and I will leave links down below to all of the shops that I'm mentioning. I just have this movie strip, like film strip washi that I got a long time ago at like Michael's or something. Um, I have these little calculators from Coffee Break Planner. I also have some event stickers from Coffee Break Planner. I've got these really cute little computer desks from uh, pay I can't talk today. Piper Paper Company. Sorry, I've done like three videos already. So that's like, I'm going a little batty at the moment. Um, and then I also have these um, two different size YouTube buttons from Harriet Wright Designs. I am going to be using my Erin Condren planner. This is my one for 2019, like I said. And this is the, the deluxe monthly planner. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how I originally set this up, um, I will leave it in a card up above for you guys. It just has basically like a monthly view and then it has some pages in between. And then um, I elected to get a ton of notes pages. As you can see, the notes pages are about as thick as the guts of the regular planner. So um, I wanted to track a bunch of things. So that was kind of the catalyst of this. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna show you how I'm setting up my like first page, but here's the issue. We're gonna talk about revenue streams really quick. So this little page marker is also from Erin Condren. I'm just gonna put that off camera at the moment. My work income is very different. So I, get Google AdSense, which is basically like the money you make off of views on YouTube. That's gonna be this first page. The next page is gonna be Amazon. I do have affiliate links from Amazon. There's always links below and I always denote affiliate link. Um, so I do get paid from Amazon usually every month, like you have to hit a certain threshold or whatever. And now the really cool thing is I just set up an Amazon store or like an Amazon shop. So basically you can shop all my favorite things and I have them listed like in categories. So I put like kitchen and then like a bunch of stuff that I've either talked about in my kitchen or maybe I've never talked about it, but I use it and I put it in there. I put like all my cleaning products. I have like a bunch of skincare, makeup, planner supplies that I absolutely love from Amazon and all that good stuff. Um, the cool thing is, is if you check out with the link that's given, so you know, you just stay on the browser for that long and then you know, you check out no matter what it is, regardless if I suggested something to you or not, or maybe you just check out with the items in your cart, I actually get a small percentage of your transaction, which is awesome. Your cost doesn't go up or anything like that. It just lets Amazon know that I sent you there. So that's a really cool thing. So I do get an income stream from Amazon. And then also share a sale. Um, I, the only thing I do for share a sale right now is Erin Condren. So there is, a, again, a link down below for you guys so you can buy something from Erin Condren. Again, same thing as Amazon, your price doesn't doesn't go up. If you use the clickable link, it's like a unique link that sends you there and you check out. Then again, I get a small percentage of the sale and the cost of goods does not go up. Um, share a sale is like for bloggers and Instagrammers and YouTubers, influencers and things like that. So you have to meet certain requirements to do that. But I've been doing it with Erin Condren for a while and I really like it. But um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those fun things. But I can sign up for like other um, companies on share a sale, but I just haven't yet because I don't know. None of them have like turned my crank. Etsy, I clearly own an Etsy shop. A link is below. I feel like this whole like intro is like link is below. Go check it out. Um, so yeah, I have Etsy. And then also I have contracts that I will sometimes do. So I left that in there. And then I have a bunch of blank pages as well. So um, in case there's other like streams or something like that that I need to deal with. So anyway, let's set the first page together and then um, I will show you guys in the end because it's gonna be way too much video footage if I do all of them, but I'll stop the camera and then show you what I did once it's all over with. So let's do the YouTube stuff first. I just need like what I'm here. Let's talk a little bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the months here. So like January through December and then um, what you know, what my income was for that month and then what the running balance is as well. So like how much basically I've made um, throughout the year. So it's like, you know, the actual and then the total. So yeah, that's kind of what the plan is. So I really only need 12 spaces, but I think I'm gonna do like every other space maybe. I don't know, I'm thinking, thinking that might 
look kind of more aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. And I'm kind of just using the um, line as a guide to not totally make this look crooked, you know, just a little crooked, not all the way crooked. Um, and then these are the snap-in bookmarks from Erin Condren, and I love them for um, cutting washi because they seem to work really well for me. And then on my sticker here, I am going to be using a Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent. Again, this link will be below as well, and I get these on Amazon. They come in a bunch of different colors. There's black, blue, red, and green, I believe. So love these. All right, I guess I could probably take this off of here. My Y looks a little funny, so I'm gonna... There we go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna put the total at the end here. And I'll put income kinda right over there. Oh, that's really crooked, Emily. Good job. Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You would think by, like, you know, I've done this for years. I could lay washi straight and I could do all those things. Not so much. Not so much. Oh, well. All right, just put a little calculator on the side there. And then I think... I think one of these big boys will fit in here, I think. Yeah. Cool. All right, and I don't know, maybe one of these will fit up here too. I just love these. I think these are so cool. I just haven't had a real opportunity to um, use them yet. Actually, hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this just a little bit over. And the nice thing about um, Coffee Break Planner stickers is, is um, they're matte removable. So you can move them around and actually like several months later, you can still do that. At least on the Erin Condren paper I've noticed. So that's kind of exciting. So I'm gonna put this guy like right up here. I think that looks really cute because basically I'm like on the computer all day which is what YouTubing really is <laughs> you would think a lot of it's you know the videos the videos are the videos but a lot of it is on the interwebs so staying connected and all of that good stuff so my mindset for this um, whole thing is that I want to kind of keep this other side blank. I would use this marker, but this does bleed through a little bit, which is why I just use them on these stickers. So I am going to go in with my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen. And again, link will be below for this guy if you are interested. But I am going to list out all the months and make a line and another line, and we're going to just go with it. All right, so I have all my months in. And as I was sitting here thinking about this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to put in another category has nothing to do with income, but I do want to put in um, like right here. I'm going to put it right underneath here. I'm going to put subscriber count. So I think it's just really fun. Like I love watching like my friends that are on YouTube, their subscriber counts, um, you know, how they change and fluctuate. And I really want to keep track of that. The reason that I like to keep track of it, um, subscribers really doesn't, I mean, if you want to like talk about YouTube, um, like income and things like that, subscriber count has absolutely nothing to do with your income level on YouTube at all. So the nice thing about looking at the subscriber count is you can kind of look and see what months you're gaining a lot or maybe losing a lot. To be honest, this past like 30 days, I think I've lost like over three or 400 subscribers and I'm really not sure why. I have been posting really regularly. I've been doing a lot of vlogging, which everyone that comments on the vlogs says that they really like the vlogs, but maybe they don't like the vlogs. Maybe I need to do more planning videos, which I'm trying to do, but it's very weird. But sometimes YouTube will promote my channel and other times they won't. And I think that this summer, for whatever reason, I just haven't been really in people's like suggested bars. You know, like when you watch on YouTube, you have like your screen and then you have like the suggested. A lot of times I get new subscribers because of the suggested bar, or, like the suggested, like that long bar there. I don't know why, but whatever. But it's just nice to see like, oh, in you know January, I've switched something up and I did something different. So when February hit, I had like how many more subscribers or maybe I didn't do a lot in January and my subscriber went like lower or whatever. I don't know. 
It's just very strange. Actually, what's really funny is like my channel grew a ton when I wasn't doing any videos at all. Like last January into February, I don't, I think I uploaded like one or two videos. Like it was hardly anything. And I think I like gained, I don't know, like a thousand followers or so. It was just really weird. I'm like, why is it growing? I'm not doing anything. So I don't know. It was very weird, but I'm going to keep creating content for you guys. I'm not so hung up on the subscriber count, but it's just a fun thing to track. So anyway, I'm going to be using this Chrissy and Designs sticker sheet. I'm just going to like use this little sticker right here and just kind of put it right there. And then I'm just going to put subscriber on it. And if you guys are interested, um, the number on this is KAD00232. Um, and her sheets are like a matte vinyl, like a semi-gloss kind of a thing. Um, they're not glossy, but they're like a semi-gloss and they smell like I don't know, they smell like uh, pool floaties, like little arm floaties. I don't know why, I like really love that smell. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this little red one because we're going with like the red theme. All right, so I just wrote subscriber. So yeah, and then I can just track that right there. And you always have to wait for a second for this to completely dry. So I think it's dry now. Perfect, looks super cute. All right, so I have got my trusty Erin Condren snap-in ruler right here. So I'm gonna use that. Close up this binder here. This is how I store all of my Christian Designs stuff because um, it's an obsession, you guys. It's an obsession. <laughs> All right, and that is it. That is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of these pages. So I'm gonna stop the camera because like I said, it's gonna be way too much video file footage. I don't even think my memory card is that big for as long as it's gonna take me to do this. So I will see you guys in just a second when I'm all done. All right, so I am back. I am all done with my financial pages and my business planner for 2019. So I wanted to show you what I did and where I got everything. So I did change this just a little bit since we last saw each other. I did include these. Um, they're just like little money stickers. I want to say that I got this from Paper Loving Mommy on Etsy. If for some reason you can't find any of these things on these specific shops, you can also Google or search on Etsy like money stickers or whatever kind of sticker you're looking for and there are so many other wonderful shops out there too i just happen to have these from other shops so anyway i put these on all of my uh, pages for you guys so here is my youtube page and then moving right along this is my amazon page so i've got my little um scallop boxes, which these are all from Coffee Break Planner. I've got my little money guy. I've also got this, it's so cute. It says my transformer name is Amazon Prime and that is from Small Town Grace. And then I've got these little shopping bags, which are from Lily Henry several years ago. And then I also have this little Amazon sticker um, from KB Sticker Co. And then obviously I've got, you know, it's the same template all the way through. And then this one here, I have, oh, and I should say most of the watch that you see is on my shop on uh, favorite daughter shop on Etsy I will leave a link down below most of it's on there some of it isn't but um, you know there's lots of different stuff on there at the moment um, this is not because this is an Erin Condren product this is an Erin Condren washi um, they do come as a set and this is the new pattern for this year the woven wonder which I'm like kind of obsessed with so again the scallop boxes are from coffee break planner we've got the money and then the little eyeglasses those are from a sticker sheet from Erin Condren Condren.com and then the little EC I just put that on there too and that's a sticker from Erin Condren as well and the little shopping bag is also from Lily Henry. This is going to be for my Etsy page so the washi is from my shop and then I also have the scallop boxes which are coffee break planner sorry this is kind of redundant but I know a lot of people ask and then I've got the money the boss sticker those are also from small town grace and then the little bag again is from Lily Henry and then the Etsy sticker is from planner topia and then this is the last sheet that I have and then all of the scallop boxes as well as the little calculator are from coffee break planner the washi is from my shop we've got the money sticker again with 
with another one of those Ray Dunn mugs and that is from Small Town Grace. And then these awesome computers are from Piper Paper Company. And then I do have a couple of extra sheets in the back in case there's other revenue streams or I decide to do something different with the business this year. But yeah, so I've got my contracts, Etsy, share a sale, Amazon, and YouTube. So that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you've got any other questions for me, feel free to post them down below. And if you guys run a business or own a business, how do you guys keep track of your expenses? Clearly I'm a paper planner person, but I know a lot of people do it online as well, but let me know how you do yours. I'd just be really curious. So thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you